This is just a quick update, so now I've got FT8 working perfectly and made many contacts on the radio. I'll, I'll show you as soon as it kicks in how nice and clean the transmitted signal is on the oscilloscope. There you go, nice steady signal, uh, waving around, it's a, it's, a, it's a really nice tone and it's set at exactly 50 watts, or, or rather I have it set so it doesn't go above 50 watts. And the way I've done that is if you go into your system sound settings, you'll notice I have one that I've called Yesu Output. I've renamed that in Control Panel so I know which one it is. If we scroll down and we go to All Sound Devices and then select the sound output, and as I say, I've labelled it Yesu Output so I know which one it is. I have that set to be 100% so the laptop is outputting volume to the radio at 100%. Furthermore, I have the FT8 power slider set also set to 100%. So FT8 is outputting a tone at 100% to the laptop, the laptop is outputting a tone at 100% to the radio. And then in the radio, We'll have to wait for it to finish transmitting. There we go. In the radio, if I go to the presets, you will see that I've turned the modulation gain down to 15. And 15 allows me to have... It's transmitting again, so I'll have to wait. 15 in the modulation gain allows me to have the radio set to 100 watts which I'll show you in a second. There we go. If I click on that and see the RF power is at 100 watts. So the radio is set to 100 watts so when I'm flicking between bands I don't need to bother resetting it. But FT8 now has a maximum output power of 50 watts and if I want to reduce it further down to say 10 watts or 20 watts I can now do that with the power slider but because it's set at 50 watts with that power slider fully up, I can't overdrive the radio. So I hope that's been useful, um, and any questions, please shout.